Hello, welcome to the North Star Controller Juniper Telemetry Interface Configuration Learning Bite. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning bite, you will be able to configure a Junos platform to stream telemetry data to a North Star control. Junos platforms support the streaming of real-time telemetry data toward a data collector. And in this case, the North Star controller is capable of receiving physical interface statistics, logical interface statistics, and statistics about the label switch paths that are used for forwarding across your network. The North Star support controller supports collecting that data and storing it and providing it to you to view inside of the North Star Controller administrative interface. And the North Star Controller can also take action based on an analysis of the telemetry data received in your network. You as an administrator can configure utilization thresholds on your network. So if certain points of your network reach an overutilization point, the North Star Controller can dynamically signal label switch paths to reroute around points of congestion. So the Junos platform support the Juniper telemetry interface, which allows an administrator to add configuration to a Junos platform that enables the streaming of telemetry data toward the North Star control. The configuration required on a Junos platform is an export profile which identifies the platform itself such as the source address that the platform should use in the packets that are streamed toward the telemetry collector the North Star controller what protocol format should be used what transport layer protocol and then a streaming server profile should be defined actually three streaming server profiles the streaming server profile defines the destination of the telemetry data, which will be the North Star controller server itself, and also what type of data should be streamed. Now remember the North Star controller can receive physical interface, logical interface, and label switch path telemetry information. So I will define three streaming server profiles. One to stream, physical interface statistics to the North Star controller at a particular UDP port. By default, it's UDP port 2000. I'll show you that in the configuration on an actual MX node. The logical interface information is streamed to the same North Star controller server, but to a different UDP port, UDP port 2001. And then the label switch path statistical information is streamed to UDP port 2002 on the North Star controller server. We'll use TCP dump to view the reception of this telem telemetry data from the components on an example network. And then a sensor profile is defined for, well, there, there will be three sensor profiles defined, one for physical interface to enable a physical interface sensor, one to enable a logical interface sensor, and one to enable a label switch path sensor that enables the gathering of the telemetry data to stream toward the streaming server, right? So it, it seems like a lot, but it will, we'll tie it all together and it'll be easy to understand. The platform also requires under the edit chassis branch of the configuration hierarchy, enhanced services enabled, enhanced IP network set, chassis network services, enhanced IP. That must also be enabled. I'm going to demonstrate some configuration for you during this learning bite. And wow, isn't this diagram easy to understand? Uh, so I, I, this diagram is a little complex just because I wanted to include some IP addresses because I want to, you're going to be able to see the data that's streamed toward the North Star controller server. And the IP addresses there just may help you understand, you know, what, what's coming in. So there, there's really, there's six nodes that are in this example network. There's VMX1 and VMX2, which are MPLS label switch path ingress nodes. There's some P routers, P1, P2, P3, P4, and the, you know, traffic flows across these routers. They're core routers in this network diagram. And then I have a North Star controller 
and the analytic components are going to listen on an IP address of 192.168.1.30. And, you know, VMX1 is going to come from 1.1. It's going to, from VMX2, stream from 192.168.1.2. And it's going to be at a little bit different addresses on the, the P routers. But I, I made it different just so you can see that telemetry data, once this is enabled on these nodes, will be streamed from each node in this network environment. I'm going to connect to the VMX1 node and we're going to analyze the telemetry configuration and then we'll connect to the North Star application virtual machine and we'll use TCP dump to view the reception of the telemetry data. This is a virtual MX router. This is VMX1 in that previous diagram. The configuration of analytics is under the edit services analytics branch of the configuration hierarchy. I'm going to run a show command just to view. It's already been configured. Trying to do the configuration during a learning byte and explain it is a little tough. So I've added it in. And, and so under the edit services analytics branch, what I really want to start with, I want to start on an export profile because this is used to identify the device itself. Right, and so this is the VMX1 node, and I'm configuring an export profile. Now, the name is a variable. I define this. Now, in this case, it's NS. Now, the name is important because I'm going to tie that name into different parts of this analytics configuration, right? So I, it, it means something to me. And so the export profile is NS. This is the IP address that I will use as the source address and the packets that I stream toward the North Star controller. I will send these, these analytics packets from the statistics that I gather. I'm gonna stream that data every two seconds. I'm gonna use the Google protocol buffer data format to, to stream the data. And I'm gonna use UDP packets, right? I'm gonna send it to, you know, to UD, in UDP packets toward the North Star controller. So this identifies me and how I am going to stream the data and how often. Right now, remember the, the North Star controller can receive and process physical interface, logical interface, and label switch path telemetry data from these nodes. And so now I'm going to go back up towards the top, and, I, and here's the first streaming server. And, and to define, to stream, excuse me, physical interface to telemetry data, I'm going to define a streaming server called NS IFD. This is physical interface data. And I'm going to stream it toward the IP address of the North Star controller server, 192.168.1.30. And it uses an application called Logstash to receive the telemetry data, collect it, and log it on the North Star controller. And for physical, telem physical interface telemetry data, it listens on UDP port 2000. For logical interface data, for the logical units on the interfaces that you configure in your WAN, to stream that telemetry data, I configure a streaming server for uh, the, toward the North Star controller of, of log, IFL for a logical interface. Same IP address, but a different port. It listens on UDP port 2001. So look, if there's a firewall in the middle here, right, you need to think about ports and addresses. And this is for the label switch path data. It can also you know, collect data for the label switch paths that processes data on your WAN and then stream that data to the same North Star controller server on a different port, port 2002. And then the final part is a little bit further down, so I'm going to hit enter a couple times, so we can actually see the sensors. And this tells this node exactly what statistical information. There are sensors that you enable that tell this node exactly what statistical information to stream toward the streaming server, the North Star controller. And so here's my physical interface sensor, and, and here's the path to the library that can gather the statistics, and I want to export this. Here's my export name, and this ties back to my export profile. This export name of NS ties back to my export profile, right? So, you know, just kind of pay attention to those things. This is how this stuff is tied together. And here's, here's the sensor enablement for logical interface configuration, the path, the library. And this is all defined in our documentation. And, and here it is 
in this learning byte, and this is to enable the sensor, the gathering of statistical information on this node for label switch paths. I'm going to connect to the North Star controller server. I've already enabled and committed this in the configuration. And now you'll be able to see the telemetry data arriving at the North Star controller server. This is the North Star controller server, and I'm going to run a TCP dump command first to listen for physical or to display the reception physical interface telemetry data coming from the nodes that make up this example network. And the physical interface data is streamed toward UDP port 2000 on this North Star control. So once I hit enter, you know, you'll actually see packets coming in from the 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.2, the VMX1 and VMX2, and then the P routers as well. I can see, you know, UDP telemetry data coming in about the physical interfaces. And remember, there's another learning byte where you can actually see how this telemetry data appears inside of the North Star Controller Administrative Interface and how this data can be used to modify the forwarding paths for label switch paths through your network. So I'm receiving physical interface telemetry data. Let me stop that TCP dump and let's go look at logical interface data, right? That streams to UDP port 2001, and, and I'm receiving logical interface statistics from the nodes that make up my WAN. So telemetry, this Juniper telemetry interface data is being received by the North Star controller. Let's look for label switched path data, which goes to UDP port 2002. And I'm also receiving, now, these statistics are gathered from the VMX1 and the VMX2 nodes, the ingress routers for my, for my label switch paths in my example network. So it's coming from 192.168.1.1 and, and 1.2, the, the ingress and egress nodes. And so I'm receiving telemetry data for there from these label switch paths as well. In this learning byte, we configured a Juno's platform to stream Juniper telemetry interface data to a North Star controller. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.